Brexit the sequel. There is no doubt it will begin the UK-EU bargaining. So now in two years, be it three, Great Britain finally will free, free itself from eating mussels in, what's it called? Uh, sure, Brussels. David has left, for him came May, and what for God's sake did she say? Here I present my friend the Boris. We say, oh, tempora of Boris. Since the one who changed his mind on Brexit like no other kind. Of course, there were so many liars. They handed out a million flyers, stored thousands more in the garage, whose owner was Nigel Farage. He tricked them all, exaggerated. The airwaves were all saturated with news that were, well, really fake. Although there was so much at stake, the worst lie was it didn't matter that health service will get much better come Brexit and will save much money, free for us all, both milk and honey. Nigel had won, Europe had lost. It will us dearly, dearly cost. Instead of ending on a dumb Farage, shook hands with Donald Trump. We put on a fantastic show of falsehoods learning on the go, like me, the Donald thought and smiled. He has the USA defied. What can I learn from you, my friend? How can we, let's say, NATO end? And don't forget, we should be looting more servers. I'll call Putin. Farage looked up. This room is bugged. Trump told him so. And still, they hugged. Meanwhile, in Europe, since that day, the union is in disarray. It, it took them decades to combine the member states, it looked just fine. Now they will break up UK treaties like pieces in a box of Wheaties. And what with all the checks and polls to work in Britain, sleeping holes, will they forever have to go quite fast or relatively slow? And where will all the pensioners live? Will France or Spain a house them give? And what with Vauxhall and with Ford? So many issues, oh my lord. In two years, we will know much more. It should be clear what's in the store. With great regret, we'll say to you, goodbye, your European soup.